Arasan. Mr. John Moxley, you have to take the challenge of your challenge. America, Nagata Yuji will come back to you. I'm big game hunting in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Grab your six shooter, and we'll see who can get a shot off first. Here comes Death Rider, John Moxley! In his first sanctioned match since leaving WWE, John Moxley heads into Rhea Goku with an opportunity to become the IWGP US Heavyweight Champion. John Moxley's time with Juice Robinson goes back to their days in Tampa, Florida. They trained together, they competed against one another in the precursor to NXT. That promotion was called FCW. Juice was haunted by the images of Moxley, and Juice has been trying to run away from his past. Throughout his career, Moxley has survived death matches. He's competed in some of the most aggressive promotions throughout the world. And what Juice Robinson says is absolutely true. This is not going to be a scientific wrestling match. This is going to be a fight between two men who have walked similar paths to bring themselves both here to New Japan Pro Wrestling. When the video was finally revealed, when John Moxley finally revealed his identity to Juice Robinson, over a million views in just the first 24 hours. But Juice already knew who it was. Juice knew from the first time he saw that video. Because he had seen Moxley stand at the bar, just like the way the guy did in the video. and Moxley were in the same promotion. But while Moxley had built a resume as an independent promotion star all over the world, Juice was just getting started. Moxley's not facing the 22-year-old kid he knew way back when. And Juice looks ready for a fight. We're seeing already a different Juice Robinson. Yeah, we can read the body language. And you can feel it, folks. It's Moxley versus Robinson for the IWGP US Heavyweight Championship. Hey, whoa. Whoa. And Juice Robinson has shorn his signature locks. Well, he said it, Kevin. 
He said he's not the same 22 year old kid and tonight we're going to get a different Juice Robinson. He, when he first came to Japan, he voluntarily started from scratch in the New Japan Dojo. And they step right into each other. Chris, sorry to interrupt, because Boxley and Juice are hammering away. This might not last long, folks. And here's the fight. Big punches by both men. And Moxley meeting the elbow of Juice. Robinson off the ropes. Moxley oh, with man. the answer. Clips him with the knee. Watch out. Oh, there goes Juice. Oh. Crashing into the barricade watch on the out, top rope. Watch out, watch out. Moxley's going to fly. Oh, man. All the way oh, over the top oh, of Watch us. out. Get out the way, Kevin. He's not done yet. Hey, come on. Moxley stands atop. And hammers oh. down on top of Juice Robinson. Come on, Kevin. Be careful. Hey, man. They've got clean over our table. This was going to be a fight, Kevin. But already, deep into the second row of the fans. That's going to be a fight. Moxley headbutts Juice. You OK, Kevin? No, I'm fine. Poor Milano. Jesus. Moxley's biting Juice Robinson. Mauling. Wow, OK. What a start to this match. Moxley has always been a different breed of cat. And he is tailor-made for this type of fight. He's trying to split him open. Yeah, he is, he is working on that eye. And they continue to fight up the aisle way. Boxley introducing himself to the young lions early on as he takes control of Juice Robinson here. And now, here we go, pile driver. No, Juice backdrops Boxley. Juice's eyebrow looks to be a little bit split open like you're saying before, Chris, but Moxley feeling the brunt of that concrete floor on his lower back. Maybe some of that blood might have fired up, or it's a lot of pride in that man. Well, he's a guy, again, he gave it all up to become his own man. Whoa. Where the hell is Juice going? Robinson. Juice is leaving. What Where is in the world is Juice Robinson? What is Juice Robinson going to do to John Moxley? My God! Standing atop! Oh, oh way down! Juice showing he's willing to do anything to get at Moxley. Another look. Catches Moxley, catches everybody, and crashes into the floor himself. Yeah, I think caught maybe more of the floor than he wanted a Moxley. Yeah. Headbutt's thrown now. That's Juice. Oh, man. He introduces Moxley to the entrance. Yeah, way. steal. And now dragging Moxley back in. Not just yet. Yep. Throat first goes John Moxley. And yeah, you see a little bit of blood on the eyebrow of Juice Robinson, the handiwork of Moxley. And now Moxley gets run into the barricade. This has been one of the most eagerly anticipated matches we can remember here in New Japan. We saw the... Oh, I might be gone. No, there I am. We saw the videos. Juice knew who it was. Now Juice 
going for broke here. He's got a cannonball in mind on the fallen Moxley. And Moxley got out of the way. Juice Robinson just destroyed his own back. Robinson willing to do anything here. And so is John Moxley. The IWGP US Heavyweight Championship hangs in the balance. What a start, and what an introduction to Moxley to New Japan. Yeah, but Juice resents that in a way. Juice recreated himself from scratch in New Japan. Yeah, he certainly did, and the blood now flowing from the left eye oh, as Moxley is going to take Juice and wrap his leg around the steel. Oh, come on. I'm proud of his handiwork as well. And Moxley does not look like he is resting on his reputation. He has come into this match in fantastic shape, and he has brought the fight to the U.S. champion. Red Shoes gets to two, and now the mount, and straight away, count punching that right, eye, that left eye, trying to split that eyebrow even more open. And now he's biting it, Kevin. Is there no end? to what Moxley is willing to do to I, get his point across. I think it's just begun. I think John Moxley has only just gotten started here in New Japan. Now we'll turn Juice over in the half crab. Moxley taking his time here. And really working on the lower body of Robinson. Listen to the fans yep. trying to get behind you. So they are trying to. He earned that respect when he came into the New Japan Dojo. He offered to shave off his dreads. The company no. said, no, that's what makes you unique. Well, Juice removed the signature dreads on his own accord to show the world. And that eye is getting nasty. Red Shoes is going to have to have a look at it. The athlete may not be able to compete or defend himself. Now Moxley hits the rope. Spine buster oh. from Juice. Juice Robinson needed something there to stop the momentum and the beating that Moxley was dishing out. And now it's Juice who rains down hands. Mox Moxley trying to block, putting up his hands. Juice trying to punch his way through the guard. Juice bleeding. He's a mess. Yeah, that Man. left eye split open. And now closing in on John Moxley. Did I get too bad, Red Juice? I put a stop on this, but Juice doesn't care. No, nope. he's gonna go out swinging. Those left hands. No, it's a headlock. Shut the fuck up, bro. Oh, man. That is not something we often hear or see from Juice Robinson. No. It really is a different man out there tonight. And these fans have seen Juice grow before their eyes. And he loves New Japan Pro Wrestling. And these fans love him. And now zeroing in, Moxley, cannonball, no, out of the way. Moxley can't create enough distance. Whoa. A battered and bloody Juice Robinson going for whatever he can there. Juice Robinson crashing down on top of John Moxley. <laughs> And now Moxley snatches a headlock, but Juice very quickly drops him across the barricade. And a huge lariat by Juice Robinson. Robinson is in a lot of trouble, but so is John Moxley. This has been a war, folks, and it could end at any moment.
Oh, man. <laughs> a massive lariat directly into the throat of John Moxley. Moxley almost turned inside out there. And again, you look at Moxley's body covered in scars. This is not a man who's stranger to a fight. And now Juice picks him up. Up on the shoulders. Juice box there. Robinson connects. Both knees directly into the midsection of John Moxley. Both men already physically exhausted. They have thrown haymakers, huge lariats, brawled on the outside. And now, what's it going to take? Juice Robinson wants to put it all on the line for the, the US Heavyweight Championship, wants to elevate that title, wants to elevate New Japan in the process. And now Robinson on the top rope. Moxley charging. Oh, oh my God, he just shoved Juice Square off the top rope, face first, the edge of the ring. Juice might be done. That could be it, Kevin, my God. Straight from the top is, now Moxley's reaching under the ring. Moxley's not done. Spare tables under the ring. We almost needed one earlier on. And now Moxley's going to introduce that table to Juice if he has his way. <laughs> Moxley's saying he's sorry, but to be honest, I don't think he is giving. No, he's not at all. And now he's got a chair in his hand. Oh, man. Hammering down. I think Red Shoes knows the importance of this match and knew going in it was going to be a fight. And at what stage does Red Shoes step in now? I, I, I don't know. It's not yet. It's not yet, that's for sure. And now pounding away on that eye that's already been split open. I can tell you now, Kevin, when that blood starts getting in your eye, it almost blinds you, it causes real issues. And I'm worried now for Juice Robinson. No, I'm this worried about this. This isn't gonna end well for anybody. Oh, man! Face first, the chair on top of the table, on top of Juice. And now, wait a minute! The suplex on the floor splits Robinson through that table. Red, Moxley's saying to Red Shoes to count him out, but Red Shoes say, come on. Red Shoes might get to the count, but he's going to admonish Moxley first. He's going to check on Juice. Then he's got to check on Juice. Yeah, Juice, Juice might not be able to keep going here. We might not need the count of 20. But now Red Shoes getting the assertion from Juice. That he wants to continue begins Four. the count. Five. And it might be ap ap Six. academic at this point. Seven. Eight. Nine. Juice needs to answer this call. Eleven. Somehow Twelve. Juice is pulling himself 13. up. Oh, it doesn't 14. look good. Nope. 15. 16. Yes, he's close. 17. He's close. 18. Getting encouragement. 19. Come on, Juice! And rolling in just barely. Moxley nearly became the U.S. Heavyweight Champion via countout. But now... Yeah. Oh, my! Whoa! All the way around. John Moxley has not done it yet. Not yet. Kevin, what was oh, that? Terrifying. The the crowd. Take another look. Gino will get a look. A full release. Oh, my. There the crowd is. made the most awkward noise as that happened. Yeah, Juice's body hit that mat at an awkward angle. You and look at some of the fans at ringside. They're in tears almost. Yeah, they're, they're, seeing, they're seeing one of their favorites being beaten to death here by John Moxley. And this is what Death Rider is all about. This is the style of fight that John Moxley is going to bring to opponents as he once again racks that knee against the inside of the ring post. And another time. And now he will figure four the leg around the ring post. Robinson
Richard screams in agony. Rich is trying to gain some control in this match, but Moxley. And we're 15 minutes in. It's felt like an eternity for Juice Robinson, I'm sure. 15 another, minutes of hell. Another chair from Moxley. How much, how much more weapons does he need here? Juice looks out, Kevin. Yeah, and his leg, his leg will be cooked. Hey, no, no. He'll destroy the leg of Juice Robinson. John Moxley. Red Shoes. Wait a minute, Juice is back on his feet. Juice is on oh, his feet. Man. Juice, get him off with the chair. Through that chair, on, Juice. Right in the face of Moxley. But Juice doesn't know where he is. He finally got some momentum, but Juice may have taken too much punishment already. And now, Juice Robinson comes forward and corks a lariat dead into the chest of Moxley. And lariat showering the front row in sweat as Robinson now oh, oh, Moxley! Oh. oh my! Moxley turning Robinson inside out with a huge lariat out of the corner. Both men are down. Is that a let's go Moxley chat? Oh yeah. No doubt about it, he's a huge worldwide star. But he has come to introduce New Japan Pro Wrestling to his breed of violence. This is out of control. It's almost like low chance for Moxley and anguish, quiet cries for Juice Robinson. Red Shoes has to ask himself now, does he put a stop to this? I think you gotta let these guys finish it. There's no stopping the end this. Could be near. Oh, a heavy forearm dead in the mouth of Robinson. Juice answers with one of his own. Moxley down to a knee. Juice is all over the place. He's not well. Robinson and Juice has had enough. Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. The juice we know now starting to electrify Moxley. Left hand of God. Left. Wait a minute. Oh, oh. the double arm DDT was there. Moxley almost had it. And now both men are on the floor. Red Shoes saying two times, now he's gone for it. I know. Yeah. John Moxley again um, has brought out another table. Just looking down at Juice here, that eye split open. Moxley's been in a hell of a war himself, and now he's pulling Juice up. That table, a ready-made target in the distance. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, oh man. Left hand of God. Juice needed it, but he's not in a great spot. Oh, man. Robinson What's hitting anything that moves. And wait a minute, wait a minute. No, Juice. No, don't do it. Moxley's down. Doing? Moxley's down on the floor. Juice, wait a minute, no! Whoa, oh, man! Kevin, I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. The 
The table refused to break, and I'm not so sure John Moxley was as lucky. I'm breaking this motherfucker. So there's the 20 minute call. And if you'd have told me before the bell rang, this would still be around at 20 minutes, I'd have said you're crazy. No, I wouldn't have believed it at all, Kevin. They started so on fire. Both of them throwing, throwing big right hands. But now, oh, Juice. Oh my God. He is going to break that oh, table man. and does so with the back of John Moxley with a powerbomb. And the crowd comes to life as their boy Juice Robinson back in charge. And Juice brings Moxley back in the ring. Moxley can't believe that Juice Robinson is still around, and Juice, Bo and Juice Robinson is on a path to victory. And now a Tenzan-style Boston Crab. Juice will look to submit John Moxley for his fourth title defense. Yeah, Boston Crab taught to Juice Robinson in the New Japan Dojo, in that familial style, not in a machine that he walked out of. But he reset, flew himself to Japan to reset himself, build himself from scratch. And now Moxley, dragon oh. screw leg whip. He'll hang on. And he'll take some Tanahashi offense here. Both men well aware of the roots of New Japan. The Cloverleaf. Juice Robinson in pain. He needs to reach those ropes and break this hold. With all these men have put each other through, how much more can Juice Robinson stand? He needs to go, oh, man. He can't do it. Moxley dragging back Juice to the center of the ring. Robinson might pass out from the pain. No, 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 no. He'd have to. He'd have to pass out. He's not going to give up. Now, well, hold on, he's biting him. Robinson was biting Moxley to break that hold. And he did just that. And now Moxley, oh. left hand of God. Moxley falling underneath his own feet there. Left hand of God from Juice Robinson. Follow up. Yep, can he pull, follow up with Pulp Friction? He'll pull him in. Can he drop Moxley on his head? Moxley, sidestep. Wait a second. Double arm DDT, no. Roll up, roll up. Oh! oh man. Again, Moxley going for the double arm DDT. Both been through so much. And they'll come to center and oh. collide. The sweat and the blood fly off of both men. Oh. Back to the knee from Moxley. Moxley scouted it. But needs to capitalize here. There oh, we go. Man. Double arm DDT. Death Rider has struck in Ryokoku. Two. And we go. Oh. Juice Robinson kicking out. by Moxley. And again. Oh, man! Drill him! Death Rider! We've what? got a new IWGP what? US Heavyweight Champion! It's John Moxley! IWGP US Heavyweight Champion, Sean Moxley! Today, the IWGP US Heavyweight Championship is 24 minutes, John Moxley is the winner.
勝利しましたジョン・モースリー選手にチャンピオンベルトが贈られます。The confirmation had to go up twice that John Moxley had won because everybody in Rio Goku is in shock. Moxley has been released from his cage. And John Moxley in New Japan Pro Wrestling. In his NJPW debut, has just won the IWGP US Heavyweight Championship. I'm in shock, Kevin. IWGP US Heavyweight Championship 試合は新チャンピオン誕生。Death Rider's journey in New Japan has just begun, and my God, New Japan Pro Wrestling had better be ready because they have never seen nor felt anything like John Moxley before. The shock and disbelief amongst fans here in Sumo Hall. And they scatter. John Moxley has done it. John Moxley is the IWGP US Heavyweight Champion. Most fans of New Japan wouldn't even have thought of the name Moxley, but now. The IWGP US Champion, Kevin. New US Heavyweight Champion, Death Rider through two tables. Death Rider, Death Rider. Death Rider, he did Death Rider on Kenta. Nagata san. Mr. John Moxley. お前の挑戦受けてやるアメリカに永田裕二は帰ってくるぞぜよ I'm big game hunting in New Japan Pro Wrestling Grab your six shooter and we'll see who can get a shot off first Oh, I'm checking out new merch on Token Shop Global. Oh yeah, they put out new products like every, every month. month. I just got a t-shirt. I got a beautiful towel. I just got boxers. Oh yeah? I'm wearing them right now. I just ordered a mask. Good, the sooner the better, because I don't want to see your ugly face. I love Token Shop Global. I as well. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. So we're getting an explanation of the rules right here. The Texas death match coming up next. No pinfalls, no disqualifications. The only way to win is be a 10 count knockout or verbal submission. So a little different slant on the classic rules that have been historically given to a Texas death match. But you know what? We got two unconventional athletes who fight their own style and go their own way. So why not craft their own rules? Building this size, I wonder where the hell John Moxley is going to come from. Anywhere he 
damn well pleases. Again, it was Moxley who first served notice on the world in New Japan Pro Wrestling, and his first target was Juice Robinson. Mysterious videos that plagued Juice throughout the Best of Super Junior Tournament culminated in a victory by John Moxley in his New Japan debut on June the 5th, taking the US title from Juice Robinson. Old adversaries, old friends, if you will, from their days together back in Florida. But now John Moxley looks to win back a title, Gino, that he never lost. Nice. It was stripped from him in the wake of the typhoon and all the flight issues. Moxley could not make his scheduled title defense. As the rules with New Japan Pro Wrestling, if you're scheduled to defend your title and you can't make it, it is stripped of you, no matter what. And right now, Moxley has a big chip on his shoulder. But that chip is Lance Archer, and I tell you now, that's one hell of a sandwich to bite. Rocky, of course, we've talked a lot about John Moxley throughout the G1. And Chris, when you look at what Moxley can do, he's unpredictable as the day is long. We, we, we've got two completely unpredictable athletes up as one another. Lance Archer, he'll moonsault you, he'll, he'll fly all over the place one second, he'll beat your brains out with a steel chair the next. The only thing we know is that these two men are going to beat the hell out of each other. I'll tell you what, there's not a lot of measurables. Chris Sam's the stats. Neither uh, Archer or Moxley have met each other. Neither competitor has ever had a singles match at Tokyo Dome. Well, look at Moxley already under the ring. But neither Archer nor Moxley lost a championship match in 2019. This is just out of control already. We haven't even started. It's like eight chairs. A multitude of chairs being thrown into the ring. It's all legal, it's all good. And this is the playground with which John Moxley will look to win back his US championship. The title that was taken from him as Moxley enters Tokyo Dome for the first time. For those of us who know Moxley's past, this is a man who is not afraid to get his hands bloody and dirty. Two men with absolute bona fide knockout finishers. Death Rider from Moxley and a host of high impact moves from the US champion. Most importantly, the EBD claw. Everybody dies is the mantra for Lance Archer. Archer was on December the 8th. Oh, and Archer has come dressed for battle. Arm to the teeth. Look at that. Archer is ready for war. Moxley got in Archer's face on December 8th. Flew all the way to Japan, all the way to Hiroshima, just to lay down the challenge and get in the face and fight. Lance Archer. Well, it's just sending a message to John Moxley. You've got no shield to protect you. Montage wielding two. And Arch is already watch oh. out. Playing waste to our young lion attendants at ringside. He sure is living up to that American psycho nickname, isn't he? Just two nutcases. I'm so, so afraid of where this is gonna go. Somebody's gonna get hurt. It That's might be us. Sure. <laughs> and then if there's anything left, Juice Robinson is gonna be the winner tomorrow night right here. Yeah, you gotta think Juice Robinson's probably gonna go in on a high after that win of the tag team titles and these guys, whoever wins, is going to be feeling good tomorrow. No pinfall, no submission. Ten count. That's how you win this Texas death match for the U.S. Heavyweight Championship. John Moxley Whoa! charging into Lance Archer, and here we go. Jumping Moxley. Knee. Yeah, goes flying at Archer. Oh! Whoa! Cross body from the big man. A big clash of massive humanity there. Whoa! Man, that right arm. This can end up anywhere in the Tokyo Dome, I dare say city, by this stage. Sending Archer over the top, and Moxley gonna join him! Oh! 
Tope Suicida. From the prevail of violence. Moxley followed up his win over Juice Robinson back on June the 5th in the G1 Climax Tournament. Got off to a rocket fast start. Finished with 10 points. Archer also in the G1 this year for the first time in four years, but they were in opposite blocks. This is the first singles meeting between these two. And we're already on the outside of the first layers of barricades. Oh. No risk of disqualification, no risk of count out. Yes. Oh. A match that speaks to the heart of John Moxley. And now dragging Archer back inside the barricade and rolling the six foot eight inch champion. Moxley going back. Oh man. And the referee Marty Asami, all he can do is count that 10 count when someone's down. Clacking that kendo stick off the railing all around the ring. John Moxley now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's gonna end badly. Archer on his feet. He's got a chair in his hand. Whoa. Moxley escapes somehow, oh. but not that time. Jeez. <laughs> Just threw the chair straight into the face. Yep. Oh. Oh. Swinging it like a baseball bat. Yep. Ah. Trash can lid right to the top of the head. The armament that. Guys. Archer came to the ring with doing damage. I've never even seen a trash can like that here. The psychopath probably brought it from home. <laughs> Checking luggage. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Oh, man. Moxley brought the kendo stick into the ring. Archer the first to use it. At least look at that. He's choking him with it. Archer's 2019 began in the New Japan Cup outperforming expectations, yep. but not content there in the G1. Archer opened so many eyes and was really one of these stellar stars, even though he did not factor into the tournament's conclusion. But it didn't stop there, Kevin. Continued that momentum into the G1. The phenomenal uh, appearance each and every night, starting with that huge win over Will Ospreay. All right. And then, of course, seizing the opportunity that was laid before him when Moxley couldn't appear at King of Pro Wrestling. Juice Robinson, the defending U.S. champion, New Japan officials put Lance Archer in as the challenger, and Archer emerged victorious. And now Moxley's in a really bad yep. position. Oh. As Archer swings that kendo stick straight across the chest. Archer having no regard as Moxley, I'm sure, having some buyer's remorse of bringing that kendo stick out from underneath the ring. Oh, hold on. And we've seen Archer be so dangerous and show that agility. Oh, oh. His footing. And it's cost him badly now. I think out of the corner of his eye, he saw Moxley grab that kendo stick. That caused oh. him to lose his balance, and now Moxley's destroying him. A little get back from John Moxley. Oh, wait a minute. The elbows freeing him from the white. Oh! It's Moxley with the derailer, dead into the face of Lance Archer. That echo throughout the Tokyo Dome, and now Moxley's setting it up. What is he thinking? He's got a standing count, but he picked Lance Archer up. Yeah, that was the first time that the count was applied. Oh! There it is. Archer's head! And Lance has no idea where he is right now. He got rocked. Yeah, man. Archer had enough wherewithal to roll out of the ring, get to his feet. That stopped the count, but now! Oh my god! Apron pop! Yep! 
More victims. Oh, why? What is Lance Archer doing? What is he thinking? What the? One of the young lion attendants. No! no! Just... What? He just used the person as a weapon. Another human being. Body's lying at the feet of Lance Archer, who now slides back in. Marty Asami looking intensely, looking to see if Moxley is down for the count. Archer unbelievably leaving his feet and straight over the top rope into Moxley. And that count is going. Yep, halfway. Going strong. It's 10. Seven. We're at seven. Eight. Eight. But Moxley's on his way up slowly and saying no to Marty Asami. It's not going to be that easy to put the Provera violence away. I can't believe what we've seen in this match already. And now Archer building his own contraption. Another shot with that kendo stick across the back. More chairs being put together. What does Lance Archer have in mind? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. Whoa, well, but look at that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, standing whoa, 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 switch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at a German suplex him into those chairs, Rock. Yeah, yeah, he's got him up on his shoulders. Lance just too big. Yep. Oh! Swung for the fences with that right. Uh oh, wait, oh, no. no Blackout! Blackout! Oh, no. Oh, no. Everybody, fix it! Killed him, Kevin. You talked about that high impact Three. offense from Three. Lance Archer. Seven. Eight. And now Moxie's down for the count. Oh, he's oh. up on his feet. Ow. But not for long. The EBD claw. He's slamming his back of his head onto that chair. There will be no three count, no pinfall. Whoa, whoa, whoa! But there is submissions, Rocky. Yes. And this could be it. Straight armbar applied. And Lance Archer with nowhere to go. No, no, he's gonna tap. Trying to push up on that leg. Now trying to sit up. He's gonna roll his white forward. And he does it, and now he's got Moxley by the throat. Will not release that grip. Whoa! What a suplex! An overhead throw by Lance Archer. You see, as, as Moxley is pulling himself up in the corner, we can see the huge welts that have formed across his back. Oh! Oh! Big Larry for Moxley. Choke slam. No. Double arm DDT. Now Lance down for the first time to the count. Is he going to answer the call? I don't think so. Whoa. Just. Oh, 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 oh. Just barely getting up before the count of 10. Death Rider will end it too. Here we go. Archer blocking. That's a big ask. That's a big man. For all those knees of Moxie. Now the derailer doesn't oh. miss. Oh, 
Oh, look at Moxley's back, though. Oh, oh so brutal choke slam into the chair. Now the count for Moxley again. After that, just choke slam onto that chair. Moxley writhing in agony. No. He's gonna get up. Yeah. Oh, oh he's, he's gonna, gonna make up. it. He's gonna get up. Oh. Oh. That stubborn SOP won't stay down. Well, Archer might take care of it. What's Lance reaching in his pocket for? What is that? What is that? That's a plastic. Oh my bag. God! What? He's got a plastic what? bag. That suffocating John Moxley. He's got a plastic bag in his hand. He's looking to suffocate Moxley. Rock, you're exactly right. Oh my God! What kind of sick mind thinks of something like this? An EBD claw with a suffocating bag across the face. He's gonna kill him. Oh my God! This is dangerous. He's gonna kill him. Moxley's gone limp. Release the hold, damn it! Do something, Marty! What? He's Survival raining. instinct kicking in for Moxley! Yeah, but he's raining down elbows now. In a normal match situation, Marty Asami would have counted three and Archer would have his hand raised, still US champion, but this is anything but an ordinary situation. Hey! hey. <laughs> I don't think he likes it, Kevin. Well, if he wanted to, he could have done a lot worse. And this would be a lot worse. It's never a good sign when a psychopath like Lance Archer starts looking under the ring for more toys, more weapons. The extra tables that are stored under ringside in case any of ours here around ringside are broken throughout the course of the night, being used as weaponry in this Texas death match where literally anything goes. Okay, no, no, Lance no, no. trying to suffocate. Okay. John Moxley with a plastic bag, for God's sakes. What more can he do? Well, he can do this. Right. Wow! Oh, no! The spikes on the helmet being ground into the head! Wow, no one out there. Marty, do something! Stop this! Two tables below, and a blackout above! Box is trying to fight back now! Throws himself back in the ring to get out of danger! And will throw himself into Archer! No, he won't! Archer, going for that chalk slam! Oh. Tries the EBD claw, couldn't maintain control! Wait a minute! Two tables! Here's another look! Oh, man! Lance's head! Both men down! The count's on both men! If they're both counted out, then you'd have to assume Lance Archer would retain. He would. Moxley bleeding. Oh, no! Mox. Wait, Mox is on his feet! is covered in blood, and he's out for the count. And once again, for the second time, John Moxley is the IWGP US Heavyweight Champion. Hell of a fight between two stubborn psychopaths. Moxley was never beaten for the title, but he has regained it here at Wrestle Kingdom. And you gotta know that Juice Robinson was watching intensely backstage. He just saw the new champion go through 16 minutes of hell. And what kind of shape will John Moxley be in tomorrow? That's the question.
John Moxley gets his hand raised victorious at Wrestle Kingdom for the first time in his career. It's got to be a rough morning for both of these gentlemen. Lance Archer on the outside bleeding profusely at the moment, trying to get medical help, but refusing it. Sliced his arm open, I think, as Lance Archer. Oh, he looks nasty. But your winner right there, John Moxley. What a match. This is a match that both men welcomed. They wanted this type of match. And it's Moxley who survives. But at what cost? A heavy price paid by both men. And John Moxley now heads tomorrow. Oh. Moxley's, Moxley's asking for a mic. I'm gonna make this real simple. I am a gambler. I came to Tokyo to either Leave with nothing, or leave with everything. Juice Robinson! Tomorrow night, right here at the Tokyo Dome, we settle the score once and for all. We know that John Moxley took the US title from Juice Robinson. But Juice Robinson ended John Moxley's goal of winning the G1 Climax Tournament. The score will be settled tomorrow with the US title on the line. And after what we saw here tonight, I can only begin to imagine how far John Moxley will go to keep that red and gold belt over his shoulder. I'm big game hunting in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Grab your six shooter, and we'll see who can get a shot off first. Oh, I'm checking out a new merch on Token Shop Global. Oh yeah, they put out new products like every, every month. month. I just got a t-shirt. I got a beautiful towel. I just got boxers. Oh yeah? I'm wearing them right now. I just ordered a mask. Good, the sooner the better, because I don't want to see your ugly face. I love Token Shop Global. I as well. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. IWGP US Heavy-Q選手権試合、60分1本勝負を行います。
successful. Both champion and challenger in this U.S. Championship match victorious last night. Last night, Finn Juice captured the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championship in a fantastic match over a tremendous championship team of the Gorillas of Destiny. But now, less than 24 hours later, Juice Robinson put on notice last night by John Moxley when Moxley took back the U.S. Championship in a Texas Deathmatch war against Lance Archer. Moxley told everybody, tonight, we settle it. Mysterious videos began to air in the spring of 2019. Time's up. The target at the time unknown, but finally Juice Robinson figured out before any of us knew officially who it was. And it was a man he had spent time with, drank beer with, talked about the business with. Everything that Juice Robinson in his early days, everything he learned was at the knee almost of John Moxley. And now, Juice Robinson and John Moxley will settle it for the U.S. title. Juice Robinson accepted that challenge from John Moxley, put the U.S. title on the line. They met on June the 5th, the final night of the Best of Super Junior Tournament. And Moxley, in a wild brawl, went over, all over Rhea Goku, took the title from Juice. Robinson got a measure of revenge, albeit not for a championship, by ending John Moxley's dream of winning his first G1 in the month of August. And now, on the fifth day of 2020, these two men meet once again. There is no telling how wild this match can be. There's also, Chris, no telling how great the wrestling can be because we saw that from Moxley throughout the G1. Yeah, absolutely. Moxley has proven time and again that he isn't just about pure unleashed violence, but he certainly will bring that. The thing is, that's what we saw last night. That violence, that brutal Texas death match, and you gotta believe that Juice Robinson is the fresher man going into this, and that you're uh, evading that stipulation. Back in October, the original plan was for no DQ. Right, it was a no disqualification match that did happen when John Moxley could not make it to King of Pro Wrestling because of all the flight issues related to the Typhoon. Moxley was stripped of the title. Lance Archer was put in in Moxley's place for the now vacant U.S. Championship and defeated Juice Robinson. So Moxley, not sitting idle, wanted his title back that he was never beaten for, got into Archer's face on December the 8th and defeated Archer last night, who was fantastic in his own right. Lance Archer, we can't say enough good things about him. Moxley survived him. But well, what kind of shape is he in? How's Moxley feeling? He's got to be feeling rotten. But he's got to somehow put all of that behind him if he hopes to end things with Juice successfully. Every day. Every day. The brand of violence that John Moxley has unleashed in New Japan Pro Wrestling is unlike anything ever seen before. But the win by Juice Robinson, ending Moxley's dream of winning oh, the block. It's a fast start as Hattori will call for the bell. Unexpected quick stop by Juice Robinson and watch out, Chris. Watch, watch out. out into the barricade. Come on. Come on. And all of Juice Robinson's frustration and anger coming out right now. Dropping Moxley throat first. Hanging up Moxley on that guardrail. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my God, right in front of us. And after the brutal match last night between Moxley and Lance Archer, now he's going to be feeling that 10 times worse. And finally, we get back into the ring. And Juice knowing it full well. This again, the different Juice Robinson. I think a better Juice Robinson because of the fight that John Moxley brought to him. As Moxley shoves Juice the back of his head, ringing off the ring post. And bounced heavily off that ring post. 
And yeah. now already John Moxley's looking under the ring. I think Moxie's juice has got to make Moxie wrestle his kind of match. That's how he got the victory over Moxie in the G1 in the first place. Every time Moxie tried to introduce a chair or a table, Juice would take it away from him, get it away from him, beat him with wrestling in the ring, the New Japan style. Well, like you said, Juice Robertson's well aware of Moxley, their histories. Oh, wait a minute. A, a long one, but now look at this. Drop oh. toe hold into the chair that Moxley had brought out. Inside. What's Juice going to do no, no, with the no, chair, no. though? Yeah. Yes. Throws it down. He doesn't want to get into that exchange with Moxley oh. if he can avoid it. He's got to be very, very careful right. here. Come on. Come on. Because Tiger Atori, a no-nonsense referee, Cannonball! Cannonball on the seated John Moxley. Right, move and we saw right. last night, on, Juice Just Robinson out. took a heavy right. backdrop onto the ramp, so his back would be feeling it. And rolling Moxley oh, oh. into the ring. These two were together in Florida. Juice eventually walking away from that opportunity in Florida to join New Japan Pro Wrestling and started at the bottom in the dojo. Even though he was already a, a trained, fully functional professional as he gets thrown all the way over the top rope. But it was during their time together in Florida where Moxley and Juice bonded. And a lot of stories and beers were shared late into the night about how to be successful in pro wrestling. And again, Moxley going after the chairs. Come on. And Moxley was unleashed. Oh, come on. In 2019. Testing the patience of our referee, Tiger Hattori. And now the rolling juice underneath the bottom rope. The U.S. title is on the line as Moxley on top. No punch. Hey, no punch. No punch. No punch. I can't. Yeah, Moxley don't want exactly to listen to the rules. As he unleashed close fist down to Juice Robinson and Tory, telling him. Backbreaking the rules, geez, and again, oh. focusing on that back, we know. Yeah. Such an issue for Juice Robinson last night. So yeah. Juice jumped on Moxley, knowing he had been through a war last night, too, and a kick out. Moxley obviously aware what Juice went through, that backdrop to start the tag team title victory, and that's why Mox is targeting the back. Taking that knee deep into the lower back of Juice Robinson and pulling him back by his hair. I mean, last night, Moxley went to war, and we saw it. It was, Jesus, for us. Oh. He's trying to choke him out, Kevin. Got ready for the G1 tournament by training with Gil Guardano and got himself in fantastic shape. And John Moxley now looking to get his second Tokyo Dome victory in as many nights. But at this stage, it looks like Moxley oh, might be the fresher of the two, which it's shocking almost to think, Kevin. After a Texas death match. Slide to close line two. And a kick out. Yeah, amazing to think about the war that Moxley and Lance Archer went through last night under Texas death match rules. But that's that's Moxley's past. We know exactly what this man has been through. Death match tournaments. He's made his name. And now he's just using. Juice Robinson's body to take all this frustration out, but Juice Robinson's had enough. Oh, man, that one rocked him. Oh, he's going to bite him yeah. again. He tore. Juice has a permanent scar on his left eye because Moxley bit him back in June. Spine buster from Juice. But Juice straight away grabbed that eye. Biting the eyebrow of Juice Robinson. His tag team partner, one half of the tag team champions, David Finley. Helping Juice out here. Oh, man. Leg, Lariat, swinging for the fences. Juice Robinson using the time to recover as best he can. <laughs> Puts him down. And now, let's see. Power bomb. Oh, he's got the strength, but Moxley trying to fight. The lower back of Juice Robinson again. Yeah. Got him. Oh, man. Stacks him up to 
Half a count away from a new Ooh. champion. Over the take. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Kevin. Combination take. of Juice is back yeah. and Moxley's blocking. And you saw before when Moxley had that knee deep in Juice Robinson's back. And look, he's still holding on to his clutching. Rocky Romero has joined us. Rocky, again, the wars that uh, Juice and, and Mox have had now, the final chapter, perhaps. Yeah, possibly the final chapter. They have had wars. Obviously, Moxley coming in, targeting Juice Robinson and the U.S. Championship. Figure four. The submission game of John Moxley is on point, and it was throughout the G1. You saw John Moxley in the G1. Every night was a different strategy with him. Con he was continuously mixing it up every night. Opponents could not figure him out. Yes, yes, yes. Juice tried to stretch that near six foot three inch frame all the way to the bottom rope to force the break, and he does. So a rope break. Moxley letting go of the figure four, but the damage done. Moxley looking to capitalize here, going to wrap that leg around the post and does so. And a second time. You got to appreciate what Mox is doing here. Targets the back early on. Uh oh, wait a minute now. Attacking the legs. And now a figure four on the outside of the ring with Juice's legs wrapped around the ring post. Screaming in agony is Juice Robinson. Tiger and Tori imploring Moxley to break. Again, Moxley never beaten for the U.S. title. Lost the title when he was unable to appear at King of Pro Wrestling, but won back that championship last night. But on the other side of that the, is that Juice Robinson was training specifically for John Moxley. John Moxley wasn't able to make it due to a typhoon. IWGP officials throw Lance Archer in there. Oh! Left hand of God with the hard charging Moxley chair in hand. The chair straight into the face. I hope he didn't break his, his hand. That was how Juice broke his hand a couple of years ago with Switchblade Jay White. A war of attrition here in this U.S. Championship match. Ooh. And now positioning Moxley. Oh. Headbutt. All right, no bonus, come on. Tori imploring Juice to get Mox down. One way or another, somebody's gonna go for a ride here. Dangerous for both. Does Juice have the leverage? Yes, he does, superplex. Big offense from Juice Robinson. Who keeps him right there, popping the hips. And now the jackhammer to the cover. Two and a kick out. How much more does Juice Robinson have left in his back? You can do it. The tag team title journey began last night for Juice. They being backdropped on the stage, on the rampway that leads to the ring here at Tokyo Dome. But calling for pulp friction, and if he hits it, we'll have a new U.S. champion for consecutive nights. Tying him up, here we go, no, Mox escapes. Oh, dumped him on his head. We're gonna miss it now. Moxley gets dumped on his head. Oh, good lord, what a collision. And Mox with the second one puts Juice down. Man, both these guys are just tough as nails. Time for Death Rider. If he hits it, it's over. Man, these guys 
guys are throwing bombs. Up. 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 Hey. Up. 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 Tiger trying to get a rise from Fight. either guy had no choice but to start a double Six. count and this is almost shades of last night. Yep. Seven. Yeah, it was 10 count for the winner. Right. And Come enough fight. contact Finish to stop this. the count. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Ow! Head folks. Shadow. Big shots. He keeps imploring Juice to fight back to hit him. Oh! 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 Fly knee! He's done now! There we go! So he toyed with the thought that last night, Juice Robinson, after the tag team title victory, could actually be the first man to be double gold winner. But John Moxley does not live by conventional wisdom. John Moxley does things his own way, walks his own path, and John Moxley is still the U.S. heavyweight champion. Juice Robinson came within an inch, and John Moxley came within an inch of being the shortest IW, shortest reigning IWGP champion in history. That wasn't the case. I own Wrestle Kingdom. This U.S. title picture has some tough SOBs in it. Yeah, exactly right. Because hard hitting SOBs. We haven't heard the last of Lance Archer. I'm nope. sure. Never did I ever, Kevin. God, oh, this isn't. He is nose to nose with Minoru Suzuki. John Moxley and Suzuki stare at each other in the eyes. Oh! Suzuki and Mox. Mox and Suzuki. Hey, the bell rings. For the bell, the bell rings. It's an official match. No, it's no. not. They're trying to stop this. Oh. He's going to choke him out. Rear neck and choke. He's going to choke Mox out in Tokyo Dome. Sit loud and clear. Minoru Suzuki has just dropped the U.S. champion, John Moxley. Well, <sighs> Some harsh words that I can't translate. Who do you think you're picking a fight with? I am Suzuki the king of professional wrestling, Minoru Suzuki. The fight this guy is the fight this guy is picking. Got
Hassan. Mr. John Moxley, you are going to get your choice. You are going to get to America. You are going to get to America. I'm big game hunting in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Grab your six shooter, and we'll see who can get a shot off first. What'd you have to? Oh, I'm checking out a new merch on Token Shop Global. Oh yeah, they put out new products like every, every month. month. I just got a t-shirt. I got a beautiful towel. I just got boxers. Oh yeah? I'm wearing them right now. I just ordered a mask. Good, the sooner the better, because I don't want to see your ugly face. I love Token Shop Global. I as well. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. Where's he coming from? Anywhere he damn well pleases. Moxley and Suzuki there collided in Sapporo. Yes, indeed. They battled and brawled all over the building. Still has the, having to wear the patch over his right eye as a result of Getting spiked in the eye by Chris Jericho. John, you only have one eye. How can you fight Minoru Suzuki? I asked him that question. He says, I do whatever I damn well want. He flew from Sapporo back to the States, competed during the week, and then flew back here for this. Is that the smartest option when you're facing a guy like Minoru Suzuki? It's really not, but I really don't think Moxley cares. Suzuki has a ton of respect. Uh, Moxley has a ton of respect for Minoru Suzuki. It was Suzuki's match with Hiroshi Tanahashi, King of Pro Wrestling 2012. Where's he Moxley, going? Oh my God, was he Where's going? Where's he going? He squatched that match hundreds of times, built up a ton of respect for Suzuki. Suzuki said usually when a man and a man touch, Whoa. they feel something in the heat of combat. Suzuki said, all I knew is I'm gonna beat the hell out of him and make him my pet. Where's Suzuki going? He's getting a chair. Yes, of course he's getting a chair. It's he, Minoru he, Suzuki. He's getting two chairs. Two of them as a matter of he fact. He needs two chairs, Kevin. No, he's getting one for him and I think he wants a fight. He wants a duel. Yes, indeed. Oh, okay. And inviting Moxley to pick up the chair. It's mutually assured destruction here as these two men are armed to the teeth. Oh, Jesus. It's a duel in Osaka with oh. Moxley. But what can he really do? Nothing. Just see the count to three. Because I'll tell you what, no matter
matter what these two men do, what rules they break, or how far they go. If Fred Chizuno dare call for the bell for disqualification, he knows he will get beat to hell by both men. <laughs> and calling for the bell to start the match. And everyone is in the danger zone. They're, still, they're trying to make the announcement still. They're trying to kill each other. Obviously, I had to rush through the announcement so he could warn the crowd to stay back for Moxley and Suzuki. And that eye's exposed of Moxley now. Oh, jeez. Into the timekeeper's table, and now Suzuki will also be introduced into that table. Of course, Moxley officially a two-time U.S. Heavyweight Champion. But he was never beaten for the belt. Oh, oh my God. And we're here already. Wait a minute. Gunstar pile driver through that table. Moxley's trying to fight it off if he can. Moxley was stripped of that title when he was unable to appear at King of Pro Wrestling. Won it back officially at Wrestle Kingdom. 16. They roll back in simultaneously. How long is it going to last in here, though? from the referee. Good luck with that. Oh, jeez. And now Suzuki with the edge, sending Moxley to the corner. He'll follow in and connect with the boot. The snap there. Suzuki had a steam PK. Moxley catches it. He does catch it, indeed. But Suzuki's got a hold of Moxley's ear. Oh, he's biting it! He's biting it! Split the eyebrow at Juice Robinson. Back on June the 5th did John Moxley with that very same move. Oh. Big body shot and then a headbutt by Suzuki. Learn how to use that head. And now he's Yoshiki Fujiwara. I don't think he learned how to fight. In about five minutes of ring time, watch out, Chris. Get out the way. Watch out, everybody. No, no, Chris, get out the way. Okay. Hey. Oh my god, right on top of us. Right here at ringside. <laughs> Suzuki retreating away. <laughs> and now Suzuki. Having him all twisted <laughs> up. It'll last very long. Wait a minute now. Oh, man. And now wrenching on the knee of Suzuki. Each applying submission holds. And Red Shoes imploring both men to get back into the ring. I don't think they care, but I think they want to listen. Red Shoes trying to gain some control now as Suzuki sent heavy into the guardrails. 
Moxley started to head towards the ring, realized he forgot something. That was Minoru Suzuki. Oh, what a shot! Moxley catches Suzuki coming in. Now wait, throwing him into the barricade. Moxley yeah, threw himself. Suzuki yeah. absorbs the barricade. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Oh, jeez. Wait a minute now. Suzuki stalking Moxley right over to our right. We knew this match could end up anywhere. We said in our preview of this event, we wondered, would it be outside the ring more than inside the ring, Gino? Yeah, and it looks like that's the way it's going, and we didn't expect any less. This has just come down to a brawl now. Moxley using the barricade like ropes, whipping himself into the barricade. I've never seen that before. And that just shows the mindset of Moxley right now. It's the man in John Moxley who finds himself very comfortable in violent confines. What's he looking for? And while Moxley... Oh, oh no. Uh, it's not a good idea. Renshus has to step in. Yeah, and if a spare... Look at it. Suzuki's got his hands on a chair as well. You have to step in. No, 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 no. And now... We saw how Moxley was able to retake the U.S. title with the aid of a table. And now it looks like, oh, wait a minute, Suzuki with that chair, hold on. He's got a different idea. As he wrenches on the neck of Moxley. That table is teetering, it's about to collapse. And Suzuki's still got that chair now. Oh, hey, no. don't do it, don't do it. Hey, oh, shit, Kevin, get me out of here. Well, we're dead. We're dead. Okay. He needs, he needs another chair. <laughs> What's he planning? <laughs> oh, no, 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 He broke his arm! An arm of Suzuki has just broken John Moxley's arm! And he's not done yet! Oh my god! Oh wow! And now, oh come on! Trying to hyperextend the elbow for good measure. Yeah. Chris needs a chair. Look what you got it done, Chris. Why did you give your chair to him? My God. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Suggy's been driven through a table by John Moxley. Uh, uh. He's smiling! He's smiling! Uh, it's, it's like Minoru Suzuki likes it. He loves it. It's the thing he loves second best in the world other than beating somebody else up. He's being beaten up himself. John Moxley's right arm. It's got to be not broken. A, I'm not a doctor. We don't have benefit of an x-ray. has to be broken. And then he somehow was able to power through Suzuki into that table. And now Suzuki's got to... What's he doing? He's lost it. Moxley's got a hunk of that broken table. And he's doing the same. They're both insane. Come on, boy. Woo! 
Trying, but that arm's damaged. He's getting no force behind it. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Blood drawn, self-inflicted from the table shots. Suzuki was smashing that wooden table. Jesus! Over his own head repeatedly. Red Shoes has got to step in, Kevin. Come on, Dan! This could end in a knockout. Now having to use his left arm. He has to. That right arm is so badly damaged. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Followed Moxley into the ropes because he tasted blood in John Moxley. He tasted that blood in the water. Moxley trying to prevent. Uh oh. Then it looks like he's going to choke him out. He's got that arm underneath the chin. Moxley trying to roll through, but Suzuki hangs on. No amount of grappling training Moxley could have underwent. He's ever gonna top the former king of Pancras, Minoru Suzuki. Yeah, Moxley trained extensively with Gil Guardado yeah. to get ready for this year's G1. But the king of Pancras, just one of the many monikers for Minoru Suzuki. And now... Yeah, he's applying that pressure. This is a straight choke here. He's pushing down on the back of the head and pulling in with the forearm, cutting off the circulation completely, and Moxley's out. Red Shoes has to look into this, Moxley's out. Moxley is out, Red Shoes call the match. Wait a second, he'll go for the cover instead, two, and Moxley is not out. He comes back to life and kicks out at two. Oh! That was going to be a PK. He just slammed his foot right into the jaw of Moxley. Moxley trying to get all the oxygen he can back to his brain after being choked out for what seemed to be a lifetime. Now a combination. For more than me. Moxley had a steam. The regal knee. The leg hook. Two, and Suzuki kicks out. Uh, Desperation knee there by Moxley, giving him enough distance and momentum for that flying knee. Come on. Here we go, hook him. Death Rider, can't do it. Fuck you. Drop kick on Suzuki. Moxley. Has anyone kicked out of the elevator death rider in your I don't think so. Well, if anyone's going to do it, it's Suzuki. Oh, 
We're gonna finish this motherfucker. And the kiss of death. We've seen it before. Well, what more could be under there? 15 minutes of violence. And now, as we began. They will duel this time in the ring. Come on. Rancher is trying to stop it if he can. Oh no! All right, right down! Chair just broke it over the head of the Oh Cesare. my god! Who smiles? Here we go! No! Tries to get right under the chair! It's dead! It's dead! Got stop Paul driver on that same chair! Oh, short double arm DDT! No referee! Red Shoes is down! Red Shoes was trying to stop Moxley from using that chair for the safety of both men and got knocked down in the process. <laughs> He's laughing again! Suzuki is laughing! Come on. Come on, Suzuki. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 hey! Come on! Boxing, let's go! Robinson, in January the 5th, and now February 9th, in Ari Suzuki. Regained the title on night one, defended on night two at Wrestle Kingdom. Stared down the barrel of Minoru Suzuki moments after that victory over Juice. And now, Minoru Suzuki and Sean Moxley have beaten and battered each other throughout Osaka Joe Hall, but John Moxley has won this fight. Got a son. Mr. John Moxley, Omae no chosen uke te ya. America ni Nagata Yuji ya kaette kuru sa. Ze. I'm big game hunting in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Grab your six shooter. And we'll see who can get a shot off first. What'd you have to? Oh, I'm checking out a new merch on Token Shop Global. Oh, yeah, they put out new products like every, every month. month. I just got a t shirt. I got a beautiful towel. I just got boxers. Oh, yeah? I'm wearing them right now. 
I just ordered a mask. Good, the sooner the better, because I don't want to see your ugly face. I love Tokon Shop Global. I as well. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. First capturing the U.S. Heavyweight Championship in June of 2019, dethroning then champ Juice Robinson, being stripped of the title after being unable to make King of Pro Wrestling in October of 2019. It took a typhoon to take that title off of John Moxley, but he won it back at Wrestle Kingdom. He's a two-time champ who's never been beaten for the belt. If there's one man who's not afraid of Kanta, it is this man right here. He is a loose cannon. Not only does he love pain, but he loves to unleash it. Has to be one of the most dangerous men in the world, Rocky. 100%. Aka Kyoda, Dai Hachirai, IWGP US Heavy Q Champion, AEW, Takahachi Hasechi, Taku Nikiro, Death Rider, Charm! One of the most dangerous individuals in professional wrestling. This guy can do it all. He can brawl with you. He can get extreme. He can get violent. Hey, we've seen him put together some of the most masterful game plans that any professional wrestler has put together. This guy can do it all. And that's why he's the U.S. heavyweight champ. We want to thank the matchmakers of New Japan Pro Wrestling for uh, signing this title match and having it for the fans of New Japan Strong. As finally, the presentation of the gold by referee Jeremy Marcus. The title is finally at stake. The anticipation, all the want, all the waiting. The time is now. Kenta versus John Moxley for the U.S. Heavyweight Championship here on New Japan Strong. Kenta anxious to get his hands on Moxley, pacing off, trading shots. Not going to waste any time. No love lost between these two. Kenta with a big boot. And Moxley returns with a big tackle, knocking Kenta to the mat. Moxley, size edge. But Kenta, of course, has fought above his weight. His entire career, while still a junior heavyweight, became the GHC heavyweight champion in pro wrestling, Noah. Ooh! Flying Larry early cover and a kick out and immediate transition. Oh, bulldog choke, bulldog choke. Can't again to the ropes right away. Yeah. We, know, we know the work that Moxley has done with the legendary trainer, Gil Gordado. Absolutely. And we have yet to see him use that bulldog choke here in New Japan Pro Wrestling. But Kenta hanging Moxie out to dry there. Oh, going for the top, and Kenta propelled, driven down all the way to the floor. John Moxley knocking Kenta. Yeah, that was a rough landing for Kenta. But this is where Moxie is so dangerous. And the guy's a lunatic. Well, he's certainly deranged, and he welcomes these fights on the outside. He knows how to use the ring as a, as a weapon himself. Referee Jeremy Marcus doing a great job letting these two fight it out to bring it back into the ring. But wait a minute now, dangerous situation here, setting for a suplex, Kenta blocking it. Oh! oh. Kenta
Lanza oh, suplexes oh, oh. Moxley on the floor, right onto the concrete floor, the thin layer of padding, a mere suggestion of protection as Moxley's back bouncing off the floor here in the arena. Uh-oh. Kenta grabbing the briefcase. Kenta has used that briefcase as a weapon number of times, had to be replaced. It was so destroyed. Moxley looking like he's gonna mount an attack oh, on that briefcase, looking to oh, pile drive him. Uh -oh. Kenta wiggling out. And flexed oh. him on that briefcase with a DDT. DDT on the briefcase wow. on the floor. Well, that knocked. Moxley, you you're looking out Moxley's face, you, uh, we're not sure if he knows where he's at. No, he looks like he, he he's trying to get up, but his uh, his wiring's a little scrambled. Kenta now, who of course immediately, as soon as he won the New Japan Cup USA tournament, immediately called out John Moxley. Where's Moxley? Has been the frequent chant two and a kick out, a kick out from Moxley. Moxley was able to kick out of that, but that didn't oh. see on the briefcase. Oh. And a hard kick. Moxley talked a few weeks ago about studying Kenta, about being a true student of the Kenta oh. offense, and he's feeling it. Oh. Vintage Kenta with the vicious kicks to the back of Moxley. They both competed in the same G1 Climax tournament, but they were in opposite blocks as both Kenta and Moxley competed for the first time in that prestigious tournament. It looked for a time as if we would see Kenta versus Moxley in the finals. Wait a minute, neck breaker, two and a kick out. Both started undefeated, found victories tough down the stretch, but now the final conflict between these two, the, re the matchup we've been anticipating forever. I mean, this is the matchup we thought we didn't know if it was actually going to happen, Kevin. Yeah, that's another story. You know, politics aside. Drop toe hold in the elbow drop, the follow up from Kenta. But nothing stops a champion like John Moxley. Yeah, no, no office, no promotion tells John Moxley what to do. Hard knee to the forehead of Moxley, and another. And now dropping the knee pad down, the exposed knee. Oh! Kicked right him right in, in the, the ear. ear, man. Well, uh, that's got to play a factor with the equilibrium. If you kick somebody in the ear, it's really hard to keep your equilibrium. Rocky, we've seen Kent, of course, turn back challenges time and time again, maintaining control of that brief Five case. minutes has elapsed. It seems Five like minutes. the long journey to this title match has made Kenta even better, even a stronger challenger. I, at 100%, I mean, we, I think Kenta has really shown, uh, you know, who he is and, and, the, and just all these defenses of that, of that briefcase and that contract. Oh, wait a minute, Moxley hangs on to the boot. Kenta repeated kicks, the mid kicks into the chest. And now Moxley. Now trading shots. Wow, they are blasting each other with these forearms. Well, you knew this was gonna be a fight. Oh! And a hard elbow by Kenta. Stumbling Moxley in that corner. And now Kenta, here we go, look at the sword. No, wait a minute, Moxley out, uh -oh. wait a minute. Go for uh -oh. the go to sleep. Throwing Kent to the outside, of course, got to be aware of Moxley's Death Rider finish, but you got to be watch out for this! Oh! 240 pounds sailing between the top and middle rope. Look at the handprints on the chest of Kenta. The strikes and repeated blows from John Moxley. Moxley taking damage out on the floor, inside the ring as well. These two men have battered each other over this U.S. championship. Ooh, Moxley with that headbutt. 
And now Moxley on that stage. Looks like he's trying to find something to lift off of here. He's created distance between he and Kenta. Rocky, what in the world is going through the mind of John Moxley? Oh, jumping knee from off the stage. Sending Kenta flying. John Moxley flattens Kenta. One thing is for sure, Moxley is not afraid to sacrifice himself if it means that he's gonna hurt Kenta. Yeah, that's the story of his whole career. Whatever he needs to do, even if it's at his own peril, John Moxley will do it. What is he doing? He just pulled up the... Moxley the, looking for something underneath the ring. Uh-oh. Just pull out a table. A spare table underneath the ring. Well, things are about to get more violent. All right, for Jeremy Marcus, giving these guys a lot of leeway out here on the floor. Let them settle it. There's too much at stake here with this title. Oh, yeah. Too much at stake. We've waited too long for this title match. And now trying to position that table just so. Tightening the legs. He's got an idea in mind. Only John Moxley can think of a dangerous situation here. Kenta pulling himself up by the timekeeper's table. Oh, oh, just smashed him in the head with the U.S. title belt. And like you said, Kevin, it happened on the outside of the ring, A. And B, your referee Jeremy Marcus is going to be very lean in this match. Yeah, he certainly is. And now Moxley is laid across that table. My God, look at this. Moxley laying on that table as what Kenta. What in the world is going through Kenta's mind? Kenta, you don't need to do this. He's climbing the top. To do this. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's looking to do some oh! real damage. Oh! A big elbow drop. Breaking that table in half. Might have broken John Moxley in half. <sighs> Kenta diving through wow. the prone body of John Moxley. My God. Well, with both men down, Jeremy looking to Take start your time to count. And think One, about this. Two. Check it on both men, three, making sure that they're still conscious. Four, five. Six. Seven. Moxley laying in the eight, wreckage of that table as Kenta nine, is pulling himself up. Could ten, Kenta win the title, win the 11, US title by count out? Yeah, well, he can, Kevin. 13, 14. And he just might. 15. Five seconds left. 16, Moxley still 17, looking to find himself can there. Can he do 18, it? Can he get back in? 19, get back in the ring. Oh, my God. Kenta wasting no time. Wow. Jumping boot in the corner. And now Kenta, corner to corner. Oh. Big drop kick in that corner. Crushed him. Crushed him. Ten Going minutes to the, to the top. Left. Ten minutes. Kenta, top rope. Already scored once out to the floor. Now. Go for that stomp, and he connects. Double stomp right through the guts of Moxley. One, One two. two. Oh, oh, my God. So close. Finish. And now Kenta calling for go to sleep. He's toyed with it once, but now Moxley. Picks him up on the shoulders, but Moxley able to elbow out. Ooh. Ooh. Both connect. Oh. But Kenta with his oh. slaps to the Moxley. face of Moxley and Pop the big one, but no. Moxley ducks in oh. a German suplex. German suplex out of desperation. Can he follow big up? Yes, he line. does. Yes, he does. And now Moxley will go for a cover here. Has he outlasted Kenta? No, a kick out of two. The IWGP US Heavyweight Championship is at stake. John Moxley, the champion, two-time champ, who's never been beaten for the belt against Kenta. Moxie with the ground and pound. Uh oh, uh oh, getting caught. Game over. Game over. Oh, if he can lock that in. Pulling on that neck while he has that arm trap, oh, but oh. Moxley able to roll him over uh -oh. into a submission on his own. Bulldog choke. Bulldog choke. He's got it hooked. No. Moxley's hips have cleared. The higher he can lift, the more intense the grip. Wait a minute. 
Sits out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, trapping the arm again. Now going for the opposite side. This time he's got game oh, over locked in. Oh, my God. Beautiful transitions between these two athletes. You see the blood rushing to the head of John Moxley. His face reddening deeper and deeper as Kenta's squeezing. Game over. Will it be game over for Moxley? He's not tapping. He's not tapping. Uh, hole is tied. Will Moxley be able to get to the rope? He's fading. Uh oh, he's fading. He's fading. He's fading. He's fading. Oh, oh my God. Barely able to get to the rope. A last second surge propelling Moxley to the bottom rope. Kenta have the title within his grasp. The U.S. Heavyweight Championship belt. That's what's at stake here. Oh, oh hard kick to the midsection of Moxley. What a shot. What a shot to the body of Moxley. And now Kenta drives the knee to the back of Moxley's head. Moxley! Yeah. Oh! Moxley. What a lariat! Swinging for the fences, John Moxley! He decapitated Kenta oh, on that one. God, now it's got to be thinking about Kenta. death. Yes, thinking about Death Rider. Moxley needs this Death Rider, and he needs it badly. Yeah. He'll hook him up. Death Rider. Death Rider is it coming. He hooks him. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Kenta picks him up for the go to sleep, but Moxley able to get to his feet. Oh, Ooh, Kenta with clotheslines, slaps. Wait a minute. Transition. Oh. Drops him on his head, hooks the leg, two. Kenta oh. kicks out. Kenta kicks out. You're done. You're done, Kenta. You pay for it now, Kenta. You pay for all your shit talk now. Moxley is ready to settle this once and for all. I'm not done yet. I'm not done. Ah, you, Moxley. Ah. Wait a minute, Death Rider. Oh. He did it. Oh. Death Rider on Kenta. Leg hook two, and he it's does. over. Time, 14 minutes and 25 seconds. Here is your winner and still IWGP United States Heavyweight Champion, Death Rider, John Moxley. Once again, wow. your winner and still IWGP United States Heavyweight Champion. Was it John on the way, <laughs> I say hell yeah. God, what hell a yeah. A hard hitting war between these two and Moxley defends his title. Kenta now realizing that that's as close as he will come to the U.S. Heavyweight Championship. Moxley. I don't know if that was a show of respect or if he's patronizing him. Death Rider delivers the gold. Once again, John Moxley victorious. And John Moxley back in New Japan Pro Wrestling, gentlemen. Absolute war. And we would expect nothing less with John Moxley and Kenta. But at the end, John Moxley victorious. And still your IWGP US heavyweight champion.
Son. Mr. John Moxley, you're going to get your chance. America, Nagata Yuji is coming back. Let's go. I'm big game hunting in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Grab your six-shooter. And we'll see who can get a shot off first.